I do have a white male energy here, but I'm seeing somebody else. That's why I'm like, it's taking a while for me to get in because I'm seeing a few other people here that want to come through. Okay, let me just go with the white male. I have a white male energy here. Tall. Um, he has a... Uh, everything's brown. His uh, mustache. He has a mustache. A uh, pretty thick mustache. I see hair on his head, but he's also wearing a hat. Um, he's showing me his shoulders. He's, he's making me notice or notate his shoulders being, I don't know if it's just broad or is, if there is something with the shoulders. Um, okay. It's like very broad shoulders, I believe. So you would understand that because I don't understand. But I'm going to just let you know, it's something with the shoulders. Um, he's showing me that he... Um, I didn't even get the whole body. Okay, he showed me that he he was a smoker, maybe a smoker, um, mid age. He's also showing me he is middle age, fifties, maybe sixties. Okay, so he's middle age. I want to say fifties, sixties. Um, he's showing me himself smoking a cigarette. I feel like I want to say I'm. I feel like he is telling me like Connecticut, CT, CT. So. I feel like he's somewhere up north, like way north, way, way north. I'm also hearing a T name like Teddy or Tony, a T name. I even heard Thomas. So he's trying to tell me it's a T name. So it could be his name or it could be somebody connected to you with his T name. I don't know if he had like an affinity of that time, but he's talking about 20s. Something with the 1920s. I'm not sure what that means. Because he's showing me himself. He's showing me himself 50, 60. But he very well could be um, looking younger. So I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to make it make sense to me. So I'm going to just keep going. Um, and if anybody understands this energy, put a white heart in the chat. It's making me... he. Um, I feel like he's referencing Lincoln. Why would you bring up Lincoln? Lincoln. Something about Lincoln. So if you know who that is. Happy medium Raz. Um, can you take all of this? Um, Raz? Very very much so. Could possibly be born in the 20s. Yep. As I said, he doesn't look like he was born in the 20s. Because he's showing himself looking um, younger. But he could very well be older. Because he's mentioning the 1920s. He's mentioning that. <clears throat> okay, so um, Raz, go ahead and let us know um, how, let us know what the information, go ahead and, um, <laughs> well, I can't talk, go ahead and type in the, um, the box unless you want to come up um, about your loved one, everything that I said, if you can match it up, <clears throat> unless you want to come to the, come up, I'm not sure if I can bring you up. And Tracy, if you're still in the chat, I didn't forget about you. It's happening, okay? I just thought to say that out loud. <laughs> I just thought to say that out loud. <clears throat> okay, I can come up to talk. Okay, let me bring you up. Welcome in. Hi. Well, good afternoon. Thank you. This is so weird because I honestly was almost going to leave because I have all these errands to run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but then when you started talking, I was like, okay. And you know, as a as a fellow medium, I don't always trust when I read for myself. So I trust you more than I trust myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so it, for for myself. But anyway, so here are the validations. Um, okay. It's my dad. Oh. And he was 
born at the end of the 1920s mm. and his name is Tom and he has five children and all of our names begin with T. That's why I keep saying T Teddy, Tony. Tom, I'm like, it's yeah. <laughs> okay, Tally, Tracy, Terry, T A Tina. Wow. Right. Yeah. And um and we lived in New York State, but it was literally right over the Connecticut border. Wow. Like right next to Connecticut. We went into Connecticut a lot, is what I'm saying. But what I thought was really interesting and why I actually put the white heart in was because you were talking about Lincoln. And mm -hmm. we lived in Illinois for the first nine years of my life. And Illinois is the land of Lincoln. Shut up. Yeah. Because I couldn't get past that. And so I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm going to say something else. And then I feel like he kept saying, no, say this, say this. And I'm like, but yeah. it, don't even make, it don't even make sense. And I was like, okay, Ermi, stop. It doesn't make sense to you, but you need to tell the person because it will make sense to you. That's crazy. Oh my God, Raz, that is so crazy. So it was Lincoln, the, the what, you said the city? Yeah, city. Illi no, Illinois. Illinois. Mm -hmm. The nickname for Illinois is the land of Lincoln. And it was something that we always talked about, like that it was, you know, we always, we knew more about Abraham Lincoln than any other family when we moved to New York because we had lived in the land of Lincoln. Wow. So it was something that we said, it was a phrase that we used. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. That is so amazing. What about his arm, his, his, he kept showing me like his shoulders, a broad shoulders, would you understand that? Um, how can I say this politely? My father thought he was a fine looking man <laughs> <laughs> with broad shoulders and he worked on a beach, you know, Ooh. and so, yeah, he was, uh, he played golf and, you know, all that. That's why he won't let me stop talking. He kept showing me his shoulders. I'm like, that's so yeah. weird. What you and he's not like going to let you see him in his eighties. He's going to make sure you see him in his fifties or sixties. <laughs> That's what I was like, it doesn't match up because you're saying 50s, 60s, but then you say 1920s. I'm like, that don't that don't add up in my mind. Like that's somebody yeah. that was born in the 50s or something, you know? So that's how I was like, what? But that's that's a thank you so much, Raz. Thank you so much. So you can run your errands and come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is definitely a sign for my students that's in my media show class to see how just give it. Just give it. Cause Raz yeah. just understand all of that. So I thank you so much, Raz, for doing that. And I'm so glad the energy did that too. Yeah, and thank you. And it's nice, you know, because um, my dad, let me just say this quickly. My dad didn't believe in any of this stuff. He used to say, my daughter, Tracy, that's my real name. My daughter, Tracy, is she psychic or is she psychotic? We don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and so cool. just before he died, he he passed from ALS and he mm -hmm. couldn't talk. But towards the end, um, he he wrote, he was like, what's going to happen to me? Mm -hmm. So like he started to believe a little bit. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, and I explained to him about the light and that he was going to see my mom and all this sort of stuff. And um, and I have to say that that when he he went into hospice care for just a few days before he passed and my sister Tally was taking care of him and she called me up and she goes, dad has lost his mind. Mm. And I said, what do you mean? And she goes, well, he's talking to all kinds of people and they're not there. Mm. And I said, no, he's talking to the dead people who are there. They're just in the room. And she said, he didn't believe in any of that. And I was like, well, when you see him, <laughs> you don't believe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Oh so uh, so I always so look much. for, um, like, I talk to my mother regularly because she talks to me all the time. She's also mm -hmm. passed. I don't often hear from him. He will send me turtles. That's like his little sign for me. Um, so, uh, so I was just going around my little, you know, my little TikTok today and I saw your thing and I said, oh, let me just listen in for a minute. And now here I get a little hello from him. So that's just- There are no there. coincidences. You already know there are no coincidences. I do. I, so I appreciate your time and, uh, and good you. luck continued. I followed you, so I'll probably be back, but I really appreciate Yay. you uh, giving me a little wave from uh, Grandpa Tom. Yay. I <laughs> hope you have a great day. I hope thank you have you. an amazing day. And you thank too. you for the follow. Okay, great. Right. Take care. Go ahead and give her some love, y'all, in the chat. Let's go ahead and give Tracy is her name. Medium Raz is Tracy. Y'all go ahead and give her some love. Um <clears throat> as her dad came through to give her um just to show her that he is also around. And I just want to say again to my lovely, lovely mediums that are in the making. <laughs> just say it. Y'all saw me in the space. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. This don't that don't add up. Show me himself in his handsome and the way he looked handsome. Thank you guys. Look, uh huh, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal, just say it. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so awesome. 
All right, y'all. So thank you for giving her so much love. I'm like, I want to say like 20 different T names. But then Thomas stood out. So I was like, okay, well, let me just start with Thomas. So I'm glad that everything resonated with her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's see who else is in here. <clears throat> Have a good day, Raz. Or 